Right, here's where we're at, we're at uh, what, for three and a half minutes to go before we open for trading, and it's a mixed market. Dow up, NASDAQ down. Got that. Market watcher, who's with me this morning? Yeah, here we go. David Barnson. Sorry, David, didn't see your name up there, right, for a start. Look, you like to invest in stocks that pay a large and growing dividend. And that's exactly what a lot of our viewers want at a time like this, a large and growing dividend. So you brought three stocks with you. First one is Simon Property Group. Now, that's a mall operator. Why do you like them? Well, in this particular case, it's actually a distress play. You have a very beaten up stock because you may have heard that they shut down every mall in the country back in the spring. Uh, they've now collected 85 percent of rents for the third quarter. They have very low leverage in their balance sheet. They're able to start picking up the dividend as rental income continues. Best assets in the country. This is a really, really good value. Next one is Chevron. Now, that's been beaten down. What are they paying for a dividend? You're getting over 7% of a dividend from a company that's paid a dividend out for about 100 years, grown the dividend for about 60 years. Uh, obviously, tons of bad news in the energy sector. I'm pretty sure that's priced in. We're going up from here. Chevron is a great play right now, and it's had a heck of a week, by the way. The last one is Kimberly Clark. What are they paying? Uh, Kimberly Clark is paying about a 4% dividend yield. It's in that consumer staple space. We just added this position, Stuart. Um, I love the consumer staple sector. They make, you know, tissue, Kleenex, paper towels, diapers, all the things you're going to have to have no matter what's going on in the economy. Great dividend grower, Kimberly Clark. Big picture. You're not worried about the second wave and the new restrictions that are coming at us? Uh, well, it isn't that I'm not worried about it. If anyone's going to get sick and have real severe health issues, I'm worried for them personally. Economically, I'm not worried at all. The society has learned. The market has learned. They can't fool us or, or trick us anymore. This is a situation we have to get contained, learn to live with. But no, it will not create the macroeconomic uh, conditions that we saw back in the spring. Not even close. David Barnson, great to have you on the show. Short, sharp, to the point, all good stuff for television. David, we'll see you again real soon. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Stuart. Right.